All right, guys, what's up? It's Mr. Schmidt here. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit, a little bit about yesterday's lesson and today's lesson right now. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're going to go over what we did today. Okay, and it's a little confusing for some of us, so I'm sharing my screen right now. Um, you don't need all of this. I need this to go away. Okay. So what we did today was we talked about we read about butterflies. All right, I want to minimize this. You don't see me here. <clears throat> we talked about butterflies and how they change, how they grow. Okay. So they go through something called a metamorphosis, all right? We don't go through this, but some animals like a frog or a tadpole, they do that, okay? So there's four stages to it. The first stage for a metamorphosis, you always start with an egg, okay? Then you go into a larva, pupa, and then finally an adult, okay? And it just keeps going around. The adults lay the eggs, larva, pupa, adult, okay? That is complete metamorphosis. If you have those four things, that is what we call a complete metamorphosis, okay? Now, <clears throat> butterflies go through complete metamorphosis, metamorphosis. The larva of butterfly is also called a caterpillar. So we have a caterpillar right here, and you guys knew that. The caterpillar grows into a pupa. Inside a chrysalis, the pupa becomes an adult butterfly, all right? So again, when we think of complete metamorphosis right here, we're going to think of four things. It always starts as an egg, a larva, pupa, and adult, okay? And like I said before, not every animal goes through this complete metamorphosis. Not every living thing goes through this complete metamorphosis. For example, people, we do not go through this, okay? We do not go into the pupa phase. We do not go into larva phase, all right? We just are born, all right? And we just, we grow. We are still a human the whole time though, okay? So like I said, some things do. A frog or tadpole has a long tail and no legs. As it grows, its tail becomes shorter and it begins to grow legs. An adult frog has no tail but has legs. Okay, the young go through a series of changes known as metamorphosis. So again, I'm going to go back to me here so you can see me on the side here. If we ever talk about metamorphosis, all right, I always think of four things right off the bat to make it complete. Egg, larva, pupa, adult, okay? The first, the first one's easy, it's always egg. And the last one's easy, it's always adult. It's the two middle things that need your help a little bit. You need to kind of remember those, okay? Egg, larva, pupa, adult, all right? Now, what happens if you don't go through this, okay? That's called an incomplete metamorphosis. You're not going through a complete one, okay? So let's keep scrolling down here a little bit. Let's see what we got, all right? <clears throat> we have an incomplete metamorphosis right here. This is a grasshopper. We see a ton of those in Florida. All right, they're a little weird looking in Florida. They're very, they're enormous in Florida, actually. Okay, so for example, an incomplete metamorphosis, it starts off as an egg. Okay, right, you have eggs, then you go to a nymph. Okay, then you go from a nymph right to an adult, and that's it. That adult lays the eggs again and it keeps going. Okay, so there's no pupa, there's no larva, and if you look here, there's only four, th uh, three things here. Eggs, nymph, adult, okay? If there's not a larva or a pupa, it is only, it is an incomplete metamorphosis, okay? So we'll start here, <clears throat> okay? Grasshoppers go through incomplete metamorphosis. Young, grab, young grasshoppers hatch as nymphs. A nymph grows and molts, okay? Another word here is molts, okay? Grasshoppers will molt five times before they reach the adult stage. And we're gonna to get to that too because um, we're gonna talk about dragonflies. We, love, we see a lot of dragonflies in Florida, okay? They're gonna turn to nymphs and then eventually they turn into adults, okay? So if you look here, there's only three things, all right? Eggs and adult, but there's only one thing in between, it's a nymph, okay? So I always, help, I always kind of remember N means, stand, and N and no start with N. All right, nymph and no, start with N, okay? So what I would do is if I see the word nymph, I know it's not complete, okay? It's an incomplete metamorphosis, okay? Like I said, many animals have a complete metamorphosis, but some insects like dragonflies and termites, they do not, okay? And in incomplete, they have three different stages in its life, okay? In a complete, it has four different stages, okay? One thing that helps me, I always look at the word meta, all right? Meta, right here. That has four letters in it. So I know it's complete, 
when it has four stages. I know it's incomplete when it only has three stages. Okay, I'm gonna show you this little thing, diagram too. All right, here's dragonfly. We start off with the adult lays its eggs, right? Then we have, I guess, a larva or what we call a nymph, all right? Molt, adult, all right? So let's go back to this. Just remember this one thing, okay? Metamorphosis, it goes through four different stages of its life. The eggs hatches into larva. The larva of many insects looks like worms, all right? Incomplete, first animal hatches from the egg as a nymph. Okay, nymphs look like tiny adults. They don't have wings. As a nymph grows larger, it molts. Molting happens when an insect sheds its hard outer skeleton, which we call an exoskeleton. After several moltings, the insect, which now has wings, reaches its adult stage. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. Just a reminder, complete metamorphosis has four stages. Meta, four letters. Complete has four stages. Okay, eggs, larva, pupa, adult. Incomplete only has three stages. It has eggs, nymph, adult. Okay, so what you're gonna to do today is, you know, you're gonna come up with a question, right? I'm gonna have a question for you. Um, it should be below, and you can answer for me. All right, good luck.